feminized seeds, let's move on to them. They're becoming more and more popular. People love to be able to plant a seed and just about always guarantee, just about guaranteed that it's going to be female nine times out of 10 or maybe 9.9 times out of 10. Um, How do you create feminized seeds? Um, Through reversing the female and stopping the production of ethylene. Uh, The ethylene, uh, uh, once you stop it or once you slow it down, the female starts to uh, create uh, pollen sacs and male parts. And um, that's that's what, at that point we can um, typically pollinate a female and create feminized seeds. So all the offspring uh, will be female offspring. And there are several different ways you can do that, right? Do you want to yep. touch into the different ways? Uh, Colloidal silver, yep. gibberellic yep. acid. Yep. Can you talk to us yep. about those ones? Yeah. So uh, colloidal silver is probably the more popular one. Um, something you can actually even make at home. I mean, I don't make it myself. I do uh, typically make my own uh, mixtures of colloidal silver uh, and gibberellic acid. I try different things, but typically you can go with uh, 50 parts per million, 40 parts per million uh, colloidal silver, which is uh, actually silver, you know, a silver and uh, distilled water, uh, a little bit of uh, conductivity in there, and then you got colloidal silver. Um, uh, that's pretty much my recommended method. Uh, that is probably the most popular method, in my opinion. Um, so uh, it's pretty simple. That, that's, that's typically how most breeders will reverse a female. So what, like, when would you apply that? Uh, during, I would start around two weeks, three weeks vegetative stage. You want to start, uh, you want to start as early as possible. Uh, you want to hit the corners. You want to hit as much. It depends. I mean, how you're, you know, you have different methods of reversing as well. Some breeders might just want to reverse one plant. Uh, I mean, one branch rather, I'm sorry one branch as to where uh you know me typically i reverse the entire plant um, so i start really early i just start spraying the entire plant but if um you're more concerned about just one branch then you might uh, start just focusing on that one branch covering the rest of it um and uh, being able to spray that one branch in about three weeks two to three weeks and uh some people two to three four times a day it's kind of up to you and it's really strain specific uh, you, you know that it's, it's pretty strain specific. Some some strains are really hardy where they, they don't like to be reversed. So you may have to apply a, a stronger solution uh, more more times per day. Uh, and some are really sensitive to it. So, but that's typically the method we use. Okay, so you do it. You're spraying in veg, and then are you flipping the flowering, let them flower, and still continuing to spray? Or when do you stop that spray? It depends on auto flower or, or photo period. So in a case of an autoflower, um, you kind of know when she's reversed. Uh, once she starts growing those uh, balls or pollen sacs, you can kind of you can stop with you know. And with a um, a male, or I'm sorry, a photo period, you want to just um, start in about three, give it about three four weeks of uh, about a month of spray, flip it to flower, and um, continue for about another two weeks. And you should see, you know, you should see the results probably within a week or two. So basically what will happen, the plant will start producing nanners, right? And then is that what happens? And then you, you would harvest the nanners or, or how does that, or it would self-pollinate yeah, yeah. and then you would, it would just grow seeds on that particular plant? Well, in the case of a reverse female, she's going to grow actual pollen sacs like a male would. Okay. So yeah, we're, we're actually stopping the process of ethylene, which, um, causes her to kind of turn into half male. So in that case, it's not necessarily nanners. Nanners are always going to be related to stress, whether it's bad stress that we caused or whether it's stress that the female caused on her own. But um, those, um, those we don't want to collect for, we don't want to collect nanners for uh, pollen uh, to use as, um, uh, you, know, a gen- uh, you know, we don't want to breed those. We only want to breed male pollen sets, balls. So we can kind of relate it to that. If it doesn't have ball, if it's not balls, then we don't want to use it to breed. How about gibberellic acid or gibberellic acid? Gibberellic acid, yeah. I don't, I don't use it as much. I don't, I don't, I mean, I, I use it a little bit in a mixture that I've tried, um, that I'm working on, but I don't, I don't, I don't recommend it. Uh, I would, I only recommend colloidal silver, um, because um, that's that's what I've always used, and that's what I'm always. I'm just starting to try a new mixture, but um, 
I mean, either way, I always go back to just quarters. So. This clip is brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code MrGrow at 15 to save on any of their products. Thank you.